And welcome to the Coach's Corner post-game show here at Time Warner Arena. Tonight, the Charlotte Bobcats were in search of their 36th win. And I want to go out now and give kudos to our colleague, Alan Knight, who this summer, before training camp even started, came out with a bold statement, said the Charlotte Bobcats would win 36 ball games. We laughed. We laughed. We knew that they would be an improved team with Al Jefferson coming in, with some changes have been made with the new coaching staff and all. But we did not know how good they would be. Alan, you got the last laugh on us. So congratulations tonight. You were true in your predictions. Some of your predictions out there that you make during the season are very wild. But you were on this one. The Bobcats pulled out the 36th win tonight. But it did not come easy. Bobcats played well early in the ball game, took a 10-point lead. And then in the second quarter, as Coach Clifford mentioned, some of the elder statesmen for the Washington Wizards came in the ball game. Some of their veteran players gave them toughness and energy, and they went on to score 40 points in the second quarter and take a double-digit lead at the half. The Bobcats just seemed to, to lose it there. There was not a whole lot of enthusiasm in the arena. Uh, Bobcats were getting out hustle, were out getting out executed, but they hung in there. Even at the end of the third quarter, they were still down by double digits as they had numerous chances to cut the lead to 10 or less, but it seemed like every time they would get it down to a 10-point deficit with a chance to get it to single digits, somebody on the Wizards team, Ariza, one of them, would be the one to step up to hit a three, though. But in the fourth quarter, the Bobcats came alive. The crowd, which had been dead the whole game, came alive too, and great things happened as the Charlotte Bobcats went on a 19-4 run to end the game and come home tonight with a 100-94 win. It seemed like when the Bobcats got the lead in the final minute that, that Washington rolled over and played dead, that there was confusion on whether to foul or not, though, and the Bobcats were able to continue that run. It wasn't until Gooden, Drew Gooden, made a late layup uh, or the Bobcats would have actually ended the game on a 19-2 run, though. But Charlotte now stays within two games of Washington, eight games to go in the season. At stake is a sixth-place position in seeding in the playoffs, and the Bobcats are looking better. They have not clinched a playoff spot yet, but they can smell it right now. Big story in the game, Al Jefferson tonight with a double-double and was three stitches away from having a triple-double as he had seven stitches in his eye in the second quarter from a cut that he received. But again, he was big man tonight for the Bobcats scoring 21 points, grabbing 11 rebounds, and again, keyed a 19-4 run to end the game. Kimball Walker also with a huge game tonight. Kimball Walker actually finished, excuse me, with 21. Al Jefferson had 19, but two guys off the bench had a very huge game. I think Cody Zeller played his best game of his career tonight. Cody came in, contributed 15 points, 8 rebounds, and really gave the Bobcats energy when they needed it, doing the little things in and you can see him getting better and better with each game as he continues to grow in confidence, which will be a big key going into the playoffs. And Chris Douglas Roberts chipped in with 18 points. Again, he can shoot the ball poorly for the first, first seems like the first three and a half quarters, but when the game's on the line, the guy finds a way to make the big shot, What you did to now, that, tonight, though. But Bobcats give up 40 points in the second quarter, only give up 34 the whole second half now. So Washington moves with the loss to 38 and 36. The Bobcats two games back at 36 and 38, eight to go. Can still, right now, they have the advantage over Washington, and the tiebreaker can still find a way to get six seed possibly in the playoffs, which would be huge, though. Good night again, Bobcats. And, and this is the first time ever I have seen the fans actually cheering as they were leaving the tunnels, going out the hall, and heading to the parking lot. Good sign. Momentum. Players respect that, too, that they felt like they let the fans down with the way they played in the third quarter, excuse me, second quarter. The effort they gave was not a winning performance, though. But, again, doesn't matter if you lead the whole game if you have the guts and courage to find a way at the end. And that's what the Charlotte Bobcats did tonight, though. Again, good story tonight from Time Warner Arena. 14,894 were here tonight on a Monday night to watch this big game go the way of the Bobcats. Our post-game show, The Coach's Corner, has been brought to you by our friends at the Beacon Drive-In, by the West Side Club, by Concoction Ministries, by the Fellowship of Christian Athletes, by Larry's Trophies, and Vic Bailey Volkswagen. Go by and thank these people for what they do to help put on our show that we do each week. So I kept 
humming all the way up here. We're off to see the Wizards. Well, the Wizards were not the Wizard of Oz. They were the Wizard of Lose tonight, and they go home with a 100-94 to defeat at the hands of your Charlotte Bobcats. We will be back with you Friday night as the Bobcats will take on Orlando, a team that jumped up and bit them coming from 16 down at their house this past weekend. They come to Charlotte, and I know the Bobcats would love to get revenge on them in the game that's coming Friday night. Again, get playoff fever. Only three home Regular season games are left. So if you get a chance to come out and catch your Bobcats, it's a lot of fun right now. There's a lot of excitement in the arena. Again, these guys are laid on the line. And again, Charlotte, this is a team you can be proud of and get behind. And who knows what can happen when you make the playoffs. Reporting for Cox Sports Broadcasting on the Coach's Corner Sports Talk Show, I am the coach, Dick Cox. Good night, everybody.